Hey everybody, do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. It'll really help me out a lot. So I'm trying to order my favorite pizza. I'm on my phone using my favorite restaurant app to order my pizza and I'm trying to customize it, right? So as I'm customizing it, I'm putting the toppings on the pizza and the app starts to freeze. It's not able to put the toppings on the pizza. So you know what? I've had it. I've already tried it twice. I'm not going to do it again. I'm gonna just going to move on to another restaurant app because guess what? There are a dime a dozen, right? Now, I'm sure this happened to you before where you've had a negative online shopping experience. It happens to everyone. Nothing is worse than when your application freezes, chokes, or refuses to come up. The reality is we all live in an app first world. And as consumers, we expect these applications to work the first time every time, right? So when consumers have a negative online shopping experience, they're gonna be quick to move on to another app. They won't even think twice about it. Just like I said, they're a dime a dozen. There are many reasons why applications fail. It could be that the application's down, it could be malware, it could be the user's network connectivity, that's the cause. But with so many possible scenarios, how can businesses stay ahead of this? All right, so Cisco has a really cool solution to this problem, and it's called Full Stack Observability. So what is Full Stack Observability, and what does it do? FSO gives insights to solve problems and the intelligence to take action across the entire stack to solve for performance, optimization, and security. Boy, that's a mouthful. What does all that mean? So what I'm trying to say is, IT teams will have real-time observability into their modern stack. So what's a modern stack? A modern stack basically consists of applications, compute, storage, services, network, and stuff like that. So now that we understand what FSO is, how does FSO do that? FSO is a combination of three solutions that work together as one. App Dynamics, which gives real-time alerts on application performance and security incidents. Thousand Eyes, gives visibility into internet slowdowns that can impact cloud and SaaS experiences. Intersight, optimizes and automates multi-cloud infrastructure changes that need to be made to improve an app's performance. All right. Now that we know what full stack observability is and what it does, let's go ahead and take a look at it in action. In this scenario, I will be using Cisco's full stack observability solution to monitor hybrid application performance and determine the impact it's having on revenue. Let's begin by looking at the dashboard. Here, you see high level application metrics, business metrics, end user experience, critical events, third-party dependencies, and infrastructure action that are required to support the application. Now let's take a look at business transactions. Here, we see there is an issue with the cart. This is a transaction that allows users to place an order and purchase items. This issue is impacting revenue. Here, we can see metrics coming in for revenue. We can see 79.1% of our revenue is at risk. Let's take a look at the application that is currently running. From a logical point of view, this is what the application looks like. Here, we see the flow of all traffic coming through the application. At the bottom, we have components that are running on-prem, such as T-Store Persistence and the database. The rest of these circles are front-end applications running in the public cloud. These two here are third-party APIs. These APIs are used to process credit cards. Now, let's take a look at the application from a physical point of view. Let's go ahead and open up the database. As soon as this loads, we'll go ahead and open that database. 
you can see on the left, we have our business applications, our business transactions. There's also a complete physical view of the infrastructure that supports the application. We see our Kubernetes clusters and our pods. We can even see which ones are running in the cloud and which ones are on-prem. And we can trace this back to the individual nodes in the data center and back to the cloud, which will allow us to understand hierarchy. Now, typically in a hybrid environment, we need to bounce back and forth between the cloud and on-prem to get the complete story. But now with Cisco's full stack observability, we can do all of this in one single pane of glass. This means less clicks to gain complete visibility into your hybrid infrastructure. We can also take a look at these cloud native components to understand how those are affecting the application. We do this by looking at the different clusters that are running. Here, we can see our Kubernetes environment. We have two of them, one on-prem and one in the cloud. So let's look a little deeper into the one in the public cloud. Here, you can see the entire cluster and how it's running. We see high-level metrics on the operational status. And we can go into the pods to see the state of each pod as well, such as how much CPU and how much memory is being consumed. We can go into our inventory to understand our namespaces. And we can also identify what is privileged and how objects are running. And we can also click on events. And if we had some events, they would be listed here. So what we're gonna do instead is click on clusters. And if we go back to look at the on-prem cluster, we see that there are some issues. So let's go ahead and click on events to see what's happening. And we can dig even deeper into the events by reading the logs. So let's go ahead and find one that has a log. Okay, here we go. So we can peruse through this log to identify information as to what's going on. Now we're gonna take a look at the customer digital experience. Here, we can see the end-to-end -end view of how the customer is experiencing the application. By clicking on path visualization, I can drill down and see all the connections coming into the front end of the application. We can even extend the hops out to see more data. We can see some issues here, but these issues are related to the trans-Pacific lines going overseas, which is Japan connecting to North Carolina in this example. So we don't see any major outages over the WAN. So let's go back to the dashboard and look at third-party dependencies. And right away, we can see that there's an issue with this dependency not being available. To investigate this further, we will need to actually go back to the individual transaction. So here, we see a lot of errors, which means we're gonna have to deep dive into the errors and find each individual user transaction. So let's go ahead and do that. Now here, we see the 403 error, which is related to the API we are trying to hit. Now, just because we see an Amex issue doesn't necessarily mean it's their fault. We need to determine if the issue is from our data center or the API itself. So 
we're going to have to go back to the dashboard to take a look at that specific API. Wait for this to load. Okay. So let's go ahead and do another path visualization. But now the test is being done by the application itself. It is trying to connect to the API. As you can see, there is no problem reaching the API. There's no problem from the data center and no problem from the WAN. So now we know with certainty that the problem is with the third party dependency that is processing our payments. So now we can be proactive and keep our business running without having any impact on our revenue. This is Cisco's full stack observability solution that allows you to be proactive and get in front of any problems before your customers tell you there's a problem. This way you can ensure that your customers have a positive digital experience and allow you to not have any revenue at risk. Full stack observability is every engineer's single source of truth as they troubleshoot, debug, and optimize performance across their entire stack. End-to-end -end visibility performance, optimization, security, Cisco.